If you needed any more excuses to go out and buy some chocolate, then you're going to want to listen up. Cho is committed to sourcing only the best cocoa from their global farming partners. And here with more on their process and how they're creating chocolate that is fair and square is Chief Chocolate Maker Brad Kinzer. Thank you so much, Brad, for joining us here Thanks in Live for in the Bay. Thanks for having me, Olivia. Yeah, great to be here. Of course. I'm excited to talk yeah. about Cho Chocolate, all the amazing things that all you guys right. are doing great. here and around the world. So first and foremost, tell me a little bit about the background of Cho Chocolate. Yeah, so Cho was uh, actually um, founded in 2006, 2007, and only a few hundred yards from here, right next to the Exploratorium, where the Exploratorium is right here. We've been uh, in, you know, Bay Area Company our whole, our whole time here, and really our, our whole company, right now we're, we're based in Berkeley, uh, but our whole company since day one is really about um, how do we make chocolate better? How mm -hmm. do we make, you know, the sustainability better? How do we make flavors better? Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been a great ride. And I'm glad you mentioned sustainability and yeah. just helping the planet. Sure. How does sustainability play into Cho's just overall values as a company? It's a big, it's a big part of what we do, and there's a lot of different ways to define sustainability. We are, uh, we're, we're committed to organic farming, so all of our products are organic. They're also fair trade, so all the cocoa beans that we buy are uh, are really, you know, the farmers that are growing the cocoa beans are, are paid a fair price. We also are a B Corp certification uh, company, and uh, but really our our heart and soul is really directly working with cocoa farmers all around the world, mm -hmm. uh, Ghana, Ecuador, Peru, Dominican Republic, to be able to make great cocoa beans together and ultimately you need great cocoa beans to make a great chocolate. So that's really kind of our do. that's kind of our core philosophy. Just yeah. like you need great grapes to make an awesome wine. Uh -huh. It's really the same thing with, with chocolate. So Well let's let's get some more details when it yeah. comes to some of the countries, like sure. you said, where yeah. you get these cocoa beans from to get the top tier chocolate. Yeah. What are some of the countries you work with and how do they benefit from Cho's business? So cocoa is a is a true tropical plant. It's native to the Amazon, but it's been spread all over around all around the world through colonialization over the last few hundred years. And really, uh, most cocoa is grown in West Africa. So mm -hmm. Ghana, the Ivory Coast, other places uh, in that West African area are about 70% of the world's cocoa. Uh, so we we buy a lot of cocoa from Ghana in particular. We work directly with cocoa cooperatives in Ghana um, to wow. be able to to be able to find the right quality, to be able to communicate with them. One of the challenges of what we do. Do, though not just in Ghana but everywhere is that many cocoa farmers believe it or not yeah. have never actually made chocolate from their own cocoa beans really and yeah and so it's just it's a bit sad because you know chocolate is awesome but also yeah. it's an impediment for us to be able to to, to find the great quality so having farmers um, equipped with basic bean to bar chocolate making yeah. uh, laboratories is something that we've we set out to do early on in the company's existence and so we've we've we were able to set up about 10 laboratories all around the world that That's allow amazing. the farmers to make their own chocolate and we're able to learn from the farmers about agriculture they're yeah. able to learn about what we're looking for and what other companies are looking for in terms of quality and flavor and so it's a beautiful little thing where you know Traditionally, that, that gap is just really not very, very close. Yeah. So being able to be a chocolate maker in Berkeley here and uh, be able to work directly with cocoa farming communities all over the world, all is, over the world. It, it allows us to make a better chocolate, ultimately. And, and it sets you apart. It sets us apart, and the farmers are able to make you know, much more money because we're able to pay directly. And uh, yeah, so it's a it's a win-win for everybody, yeah. It does sound like a win-win. And yeah. a win-win for me is being able right. to try <laughs> some of this chocolate today. That's it, yeah. Let's go through some of the products you brought. Sure, we'll first yeah. start over here. Yep. So um, so what we have, we have a lot of different products mm -hmm. that we, that actually um, some viewers might recognize that Cho, this is this is our whole brand new line. We, we, we just went completely organic, completely fair trade. And we also shifted to completely plant-based, which, wow. which is exciting. So these are all plant-based. Uh, we have some dark chocolates over here. We have I a, see, yeah. On, on nuts is a um, is an almond uh, uh, is uh, filling uh, with with a Ghana shell. We have a born fruity, which is an homage to the fact that uh, cocoa beans are originally from Peruvian Amazon, and these cocos just naturally have a bit of a like a juicy fruity uh, flavor. Um, we have dark duo, which is a combination of Ghana and Peru. Yes. Ghana has that okay. classic rich, chocolatey, fudgy brownie profile, whereas uh -huh. Peru has this like very juicy um, other other uh, you know profile. So it's it's neat that. to combine them both. And as they're well. so different. And, yeah. and is What's in this bowl? Are these cocoa beans? These are actually cocoa beans, yes. Yeah. Wow. So, so these are roasted cocoa beans. This is where all chocolate comes from. Uh, and it's really, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a high fat seed that grows on the tree. It's a very unusual looking tree. It has 
these uh, like sort of strange pods that grow right off the trunk of the tree. Um, it's a beautiful, very Dr. Seussian looking tree of sorts. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a very unusual thing. Many people don't realize where chocolate comes from, yeah. uh, where cocoa beans come from, but it's, a, it's, a, it's something that we love to share with people. And, and I love and, that yeah, too. Yeah. I love that you guys are sharing this because I think yeah. we should all know where chocolate comes from. Yeah. And what about these big bags? This looks like this could be interesting yeah, over here. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, so we, we do a lot of uh, retail uh, sales. So, you know, selling in locally here, Whole Foods, Berkeley Bowl, Rainbow Grocery, those sorts of places, Nugget Market. Uh, but we also sell to uh, professional chefs. And so, you know, we sell to different different uh, pastry chefs and, and other confectioners. And these are some of the, the chocolates that we've developed for, for that. Really? Uh, we have a whole line of professional chefs. We also have a whole line of uh, home chef uh, 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 chocolates as well That's so awesome. a couple so of these people can buy these yeah and a couple of these let me just see what we have here so this is a um is a plant-based white chocolate and we have a plant-based uh, milk chocolate as well so uh, those are kind of their oat milk based have some cashew butter some coconut oil as well so it's um but really um grounded with great cocoa amazing so, well these are such yeah. incredible products and and thank you so much for telling us a little bit about Cho, what you guys sure, are all about yeah. and how you're really kind of all around the world spreading this chocolate love. But thank you so much, Brad. We appreciate your time here on Live in the Bay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Of appreciate course. it.